are designed to be um, on the rules, would you agree? Um, I would say we definitely have the capacity to digest and eat meat, but I would say just because we can do something, that doesn't make it moral to do it. So we, um, well, 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 moral is a very um, you know fitting subject that can't really be quantified. But what can be quantified, quantified is um, is um, what does our diet require us to sure. have? Like yeah. Inuits, their diet is completely made up of meat. Uh -huh. Do you think they're going to be able to live on vegetables? So if if someone needs to eat animal products to survive, then I'd say it can be justified. But I would say for everyone here today, it's a choice. So I don't think there's any justification for killing animals when it's unnecessary. If our ancestors have been um, eating meat for millennia, uh -huh. do you think you know we can't just suddenly make the, the new step to we, we, we require certain nutrients that we can only get from meat that we, that we can't get from vegetables? Well, what what nutrients what nutrients can we get from animal flesh that we can't get from a vegan diet? Um, I, know, I don't know the it's good actual. To be vegan, um, but you know it's not a religion or anything. God comes first. Of course it's not a religion. This is, uh, this is, this is talking about morality. No, it's not, because this is based on evidence and facts. It's not based on faith. Well, no. What do you mean? Veganism. Sorry? You're evangelizing vegan, veganism at the moment. No, I'm just, I'm just having a discussion about ethics. But is it, is it ethical to bring up children world? eating vegetables? And they've had a lot of deficiencies when they've done that. <laughs> um, what, what, in, what, in what nutrients? What deficiencies? Well, things like children, do, you, do you think you... Yeah, 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 but you, you can have deficiencies on a meat-based diet and a vegan diet, either way. I come here. You, th you don't think that most children are healthy in today's world? Most of them aren't vegan. Vegans have lower rates of heart disease, type 2 diabetes and certain cancers. But the children need, they need the milk and the dairy. They, dairy. Need, their they need their mother's milk. The dairy made me ill as a child. They need their mother's milk. You don't need anyone else's milk other than your mother's milk. Yeah. No, you don't need to. Uh, other animals eat other animals then, or should that be stopped over a period of time? So, so other Nothing should eat anything living, is so that what you're saying? No, no, so other animals have a necessity to eat animals, Okay. whereas we have a choice. We can be, yeah, okay, so if, I, if there wasn't a necessity, would I be able name, to then? If it, if there then it could necessity. be justified, yes. I told you, they're Inuits. They're you're not an Inuit. We're, yeah, but Europeans are not designed to be vegans. We're not, we're not designed well, for any, we're not designed by a, any person, so I don't know what your point is. Well, what do you mean designed? Everything yes, else. but just because we had to do something in the past, that doesn't make it moral to do so now. Yeah, but I don't it doesn't make it immoral. It, other than uh, mm. oppressing its will to live. Mm. But I, I, I see that dominating that and expressing our will above its will is a moral no, but your, your the, reason we, your the reason we have big brains is because of our omnivore diet, you know, okay. meat and cooking meat, you know, but if, more nutrients sh than... Sh sure, vegetables. but just, just because we had to do something in the past doesn't mean it's moral to do it now. That's correct, yeah. But what do, eat, eating meat isn't giving you a bigger brain today. You're right, but your only argument yeah, against it's you is... big muscles. <laughs> well, you could, you could, the previous Mr. Universe was vegan, yeah. Nate Diaz and MMA is vegan, we David, we David Hay is vegan. Didn't we have this conversation before? Publicity? What do you, you mean? If, if I wanted to follow a hunter-gatherer lifestyle, would you say that was immoral? Yes. You would? Yes. Even though I wanted to do it, and it's natural, it's natural. There's a key difference between something that's natural and something that's moral. Yeah. I'm not concerned well, with what's I natural. Your answer. What is immoral uh -huh. about me saying the right of the animal's will to live is subservient to my will to eat? I could say the same thing to you. Your right for will to live is subservient for my will to kill you. The woman, yeah, and that's wrong. dominated all species, including himself. So Mike makes right? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Well, you okay, then, so I, I can abuse a child because Mike makes right. Oh, uh, yeah, you can take the consequences. But it's wrong. It's no, no, morally wrong. You're by your standards. What he's putting uh, into some, this food chain, chat, is it could be seen as toughing, toughing, tough, um, toughing up children. But this, abusing them. No, but this is that, That's what the Spartans did. Yeah, but we're talking about your, mor your morals right, here. It's no, wrong, yeah, it's wrong my, for your morals. morals don't matter, I'm just saying what... Well, it does if I'm having a conversation about your ethics. Okay, but we gave them life and then we're taking away... Right, that's a, po that's a different point you can so make. they enjoyed quality of life but, for but, a but, period. But hey, yes, yes, okay, so if I breed a dog for the purpose of dog fighting, is that ethical? No. Why? Because fighting dogs has no value to us. Well, it does have value to some humans. Not only to some people. Okay, so what's your point? So that value system you reject. So that's I don't understand what... I really don't understand what you're saying. Sport and then... There is required nutrients. Yeah. Okay, so so you think sport is wrong because it's unnecessary? No, because that is sadistic. Wait, let, sorry. So you think that killing an animal for sport is wrong because it's unnecessary? That's to you. Depends on what people say. But I'm saying I'm just saying that it is more acceptable to kill animals if you require the certain nutrients that okay. you need, as well as maybe um, other things like skin or hide. Or okay.
it. And but what what nutrient do you need from your diet that you can't get, say, if you're following a vegan lifestyle? Yeah, like iron. You know. Um, can you get iron from a vegan diet? Not the same. No. You can you can get iron from leafy greens, chickpeas, lentils. No, not the same. But where would you, would you find? What, what do you mean? Well, well, you can get but you can get 100% of your daily recommended iron intake <laughs> from a vegan diet. I don't want to. Okay, okay, you can say that, but but you have to agree with me that it's not a necessity if you can get it somewhere else. Um, it's a choice. I've seen cases where people have had awful skin conditions and saying that they. Um, and, and do you do you not think there are cases of people with awful skin conditions you want a meat-based diet? Are you in dairy? No, no, no. Being on a just meat, being a meat-based um, diet is dumb. You need a mixed diet. You know, no, no, but I mean, like, so if you had a mixed diet, you could still have awful skin conditions. It's not, it's not something specific to veganism. You're arbitrarily choosing species for no reason. No. Name the trait difference between no. the two groups. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm giving you for very good reason. Okay. I'm exhibiting in group preference of my species. Okay, that's no, that's no better than racism. You you're wired your species. Your Sorry. Wired. Yes. I understand that. I understand that. But, but you can, you can use the same argument to justify um, racism. Right. So if, if you're argument justifies racism, then there's an issue with the argument. I don't think there's anything wrong with racism. You don't think there's anything wrong with racism? It's natural. Do you know the etymology? Exactly, that doesn't make it moral. We believe in a hierarchy of the animals. We believe it in group preference of our species. We also have care of so And, and you, ca you, also, you also care about in group preference of your own race? Well, of all the way down to time. So, so would you... Would, your extended family. But would, would, you, would it be morally justified for you to discriminate against me and treat me worse because I'm not part of your race or that group? Depends where and what but yeah, so for example, I wouldn't want to have the NHS giving services to people not to resist just because of their race. But that's but, that, but that's just racism. Do you know the etymology of the word racism? You're discriminating against someone purely because they're a different race to you, which is arbitrary discrimination. I literally gave you the hypothetical where everything else is equalised other than the race. Yeah, so that's racism. Of course it is. You're only discriminating purely on their race. No, but that's how you're differentiating between the two people by race. It's racism. So I'm trying to convince you that I'm trying to convince you that speciesism is wrong. You don't even think racism is wrong. No, I think it's healthy and natural and normal. Well, look, there's a difference between what's natural and what is moral. There are many things in the human history that are natural. Rape can be seen as natural. It spread our genes through the gene pool. It's an evolutionary advantage. So is rape moral? Uh, well, no. it depends because most rapists are of the lowest of the low in terms of male um, pecking order. So they probably left no choice but to rape if they want to propagate their genes. Doesn't mean it's right, but you know, we understand, if you understand objectively why people are um, pushed into such extremes, then we can Okay, lie. but I'm not talking about why they're doing it. I'm saying, is it moral? And you're saying, no, it's not moral, right? To rape someone, even if it's natural? But keep well, it, depend, it depends on which society. It could be very moral. Well, I'm talking, talking about you. It's very, it's very moral in Pakistani communities. Not for the victim's perspective, it's not. So let's, let's ask you, because we're talking about your subjective morality. Right. So is it is it wrong to rape someone regardless of the fact that it's natural? Sorry? Is it wrong to rape someone regardless of the fact that it's perfectly natural? So if, we, if, if I was living in, in times of war, you know, it's still wrong. Um, yeah, that's going to happen anyway. Might makes right, and therefore this is absurd. People are going to you know rape and kill my um, kin. Then yeah, it makes sense that I repay the pain. So rape rape is moral it's because, it's, because it's, it's because it's going to happen. It's a psychological thing if you're going against other um, tribes or or races that want to create ha cause harm to your own kin. So rape is moral if it's in a scenario where it's going to happen anyway. So you can contribute to it. You can rape a woman because it's happening to people anyway. It's a weapon. Okay, but I'm, I'm talking about whether it's ethical, not whether it's a weapon. You're clearly very liberal, and yet when you care harm principle, fires the most. Care harm principle is what's morally firing you. You want to care about the animal. I care about the suffering of sentient beings. Correct. That, that, but surely you do as well. I do. I don't. But I would hunt. I'm hunted. Wait, can't, can't suffering be, be healthy? Sorry. Um, I think suffering is, is as bad as, it, as we can say anything is bad. Uh, surely, if you are bring up a child, you want it to feel some pain in order to be prepared for the world. The animals that we're causing suffering to aren't benefiting from their suffering. Right, so we need to find new technology in order to eliminate that suffering, but also continue our meat consumption. What if we had uh, chickens all wearing VR headsets and they're having the best life in the virtual reality? Yeah. Uh, you know? Perfect life, yeah. But this, I still think there's an ethical issue with killing them against their will. But they're going to get killed anyway by the predators. Okay, but you're going to die anyway. Doesn't mean I should make you die earlier. Right, but uh, I want to um, enjoy um, the, the fruits of, of, um, of all the nutrition I could want to experience. But you can get all the nutrients you need from a vegan diet. 
No, I can't. You can? No, you can't. You can't? What, 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 what points you get from that? Um, I, can't, I can't know it off by hand, but you know, if you, you got to admit there's a big resurgence sort of anti veganism. And, you know, it's That's not an argument, reason. though. I, you, if, you, if you're saying you're going to be deficient as a vegan, you can't even name the, the, the nutrient I'm going to be deficient in. The Inuits cannot um, eat vegan. No, they could be healthy on a vegan diet, they just can't access the vegan food. No, it doesn't matter. They're not designed to eat. What do you mean designed? Do you believe in God? Ancestors have been eating meat for. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So, have, so, have I, so have mine. They can't, look, you know, carnivores so are in inter more intelligent well, than yeah. I, I do believe, believe that. In the principle. Uh, I haven't seen any research to suggest oh, that. Okay. So, would you say that um, a gorilla is less intel intelligent than a, a, a lizard, a small lizard, because the lizard eats insects, carnivorous, and a gorilla eats plants? No, that's a, that's a, that's a different issue. You know? Right. So, it's it's not that carnivores are always more intelligent then. On, on uh, average, yeah. But, um, but hope, let's grant you it. If that was hope of wars are more intelligent than um, reptiles. But if, if I grant you that, okay, okay, you're right about that. That doesn't mean we need to eat animals today. It's not like eating meat is making you more intelligent today. Why would eating flesh make you more intelligent? You, you do your, your IQ is fixed. If you eat flesh, your IQ isn't going to rise now. If you eat a steak, you're not going to do higher on an IQ test. When our ancestors have been having a certain diet for so long, it's irrelevant. Just, you're right. We need those nutrients that our ancestors had, but we can just get them from a different source. I mean, your, an your ancestors ate insects. Do you eat insects for that reason? Uh, they only ate insects because there wasn't enough uh, cows to eat, you know. But your ancestors ate insects, so are you going to eat insects for that reason? Go to Egypt and they were cannibals, actually, yeah. it's the same thing. You know? huh? My ancestors were cannibals doesn't mean I'm going to eat meat. Like right, that. right, so it's irrelevant what your ancestors did. Just because your ancestors ate animals doesn't mean you have to. Look, I'm happy to try out some um, um, insect... Um, um, thing if it was available in the market. My point is, you're saying that you, we should eat meat because our ancestors did, and I'm putting to someone else our ancestors did, and you said, well, I'm not going to do it just because my ancestors did it, so we shouldn't eat meat just because your ancestors did it. So, as a bodybuilder, I would want to eat dense calories and food. But you can be a vegan bodybuilder. I think there are quite a few, actually. Yeah, yeah. Strongest, strongest man in Germany. Uh, really? Patrick Babumia. I think that's bullshit. Bullshit? Yeah. What do you well, mean? Is he, is he you lying? Go, you go and fight humans. Yeah, I, lo I, lo I love it that Arnold Schwarzenegger is, is promoting his um, vegan diet even though he admits he was like eating steak and a regular diet. Yeah, and taking steroids. But that doesn't, that doesn't mean that you can't be a vegan bodybuilder. Yeah, but I'm not going to enjoy it. No, be competitive. It. They're also... <laughs> what do you mean you're not going to enjoy it? The taste, you mean? Yeah. Okay, but... I'm going to be farting all the time. Is, it, is, is sensory pleasure a good enough justification to hurt someone? Yeah. Yes! Yeah. So, okay, so I can rape someone. Yeah, that's, that's going off the line. Pleasure. No, no, you that's just... That's going against the law. What? That's going against the law. If it was legal, I could. In Saudi Arabia, where they, where they can rape a woman for, for pleasure, is that legal? Is that acceptable? Morally. Is. Not for the victim it isn't. That's what your logic would say that it is acceptable because it's legal. But it's not acceptable. Alright, what's the ethics of um, them smacking your child? Uh, gen gen generally I say smacking your child is wrong. Right, but I And it's a bad pedagogic practice. Right, usually. But, but I would say it's essential for discipline. Well if you can argue that it that it increases well being in the long run, then I, I'd say show me the evidence and you'll convince me. But what's what's the ev what's the evidence that um, raping a woman is increasing the, the well-being in the long run? Uh, if you look at it purely on like on a um, society tribal level, that means that woman is going to have a child, and that's going to. Yeah, you like. No, 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 because because he said. You're only coming in halfway. You're only. You're coming in out of So he, he, he said that it's acceptable to hurt someone if you get pleasure from it. And, and by that logic, Apology. it's okay. You need a better justification than sensory pleasure. It's not a good enough reason. Everyone is um, hurting anyone for pleasure. You know, they get trolls on the internet. Okay. Um, really, uh, school. But bullying is wrong. Bullying at school is wrong, right? You'd agree? Not necessarily. You know, it might be essential for people to okay. be tough enough. But, that, but what you're doing there is you're saying it's going to help them. It's going to help the individual in the long run, right? Yeah. But if I'm, if I'm causing an animal to suffer so I can eat them, that's not helping them in the long run. But if they have no concept of future, they can't have but any concept so, of time. Some mentally disabled people can't have the concept you're talking about. We still don't kill them. Well, that's something completely different. Huh? That's different. Why? Because they're human beings. Okay, so what is it about humans intrinsically that's different to animals that makes that difference okay? Because at some point that human being would have had a, a concept of the future and we don't know, you know, even when they're on this sort of vegetative state, whatever it is, we don't know that okay. the process is okay. okay. Okay, but some, some human
human beings have never had that concept of future. They've been born with mentally, mental disabilities. Well, you're talking about microencephalitics, and this sort of thing. Sorry? Microencephalitics. I don't know what that word means. People don't have a brain. Uh, no, but so, brain no, but some people, some people just have extremely severe autism, other mental health, mental um, learning disabilities, yeah. and they cannot, they have no concept of the future. Okay, so kill them. Yeah, probably. They were brought in as a food source. Okay. Uh, we expanded on essentially developing them up to the point which they are um, economic or viable to, to use as a food source. But just because we choose to bring someone into the world for our purpose doesn't justify hurting them. My child would only exist because I brought them into existence, therefore I have the right to do what I want to them. Well, that's, that's stretching the, the analogy. No, because you're saying what it is that makes the situation ethical is the fact that I'm bringing them into existence. So I have the same I have the same logic as you by saying that it's acceptable to kill a human if I bring them into existence. Don't have a response to that. <laughs> Fair enough.